Hi, welcome to another video. So, I recently covered the Ader upgrade, and now Klein has launched its new version, which is pretty good and needs to be covered. This new release adds support for none other than the new computer use by Claude. So, let's talk about the new upgrades one by one. Since the last video I did, there have been some pretty minor upgrades as well, apart from the bigger one. If we look at the minor upgrades, you can see that there have been a good number of minor updates. The minor upgrade, right after my video, fixed a bug where Klein's edits would stream into the active tab when switching tabs during a write to file. I had faced this issue after the new Klein update at the time, and it's good to see that it's now fixed. There's also an added explanation in the task continuation prompt that an interrupted write to file reverts the file to its original contents, preventing unnecessary rereads. This basically means that now, if you cancel the generation midway, it will revert the code to the original one. It also fixed non-first chunk error handling in case the stream fails midway through. Then there were some more miscellaneous bug fixes and some lazy coding issues were also fixed by changing the system prompt a little bit. It was happening a lot on some days when Claude would just do lazy coding, which was pretty bad, but it's now fixed. There were also some more prompt adjustments for Klein to not reread files unnecessarily. Then there were some more errors where the O1 model wouldn't work, which was also fixed. Then obviously came the new Claude 3.5 Sonnet model, which was then added. I mentioned this update in the Claude testing video as well. But anyway, the new model was added, which was pretty good. But now we finally have the new major upgrade, which is the new computer use upgrade. So, Klein now uses the computer use API feature to launch a browser, click, type, and scroll. This gives it more autonomy in runtime debugging, end-to-end -end testing, and even general web use. Basically, it can now use computer use to test your apps with it. So, if you create an app, you can ask Klein to test it, and it will go through the process of testing it by controlling the whole browser, which is just amazing to me. I don't know if I'll use it, but it seems cool. Now, let's just get right into it and check it out as well. So, first of all, you can just go to VS Code and make sure that you install or upgrade Klein. Now, once you do that, we can start using it. First of all, now when you go to the settings page, you'll see a new thing that says, supports computer use. So, just select the Claude model, and you should see that the computer use thing is enabled and can be used. Let's test it out and see it for ourselves. First, let's ask it to make something very basic. Let's ask it to make a simple to-do list app. Okay, it's doing that now. Let's wait a bit. And it's now done. If we run it, you can see that this works pretty well. But let's add an error here by changing the code a little bit. Now, if I run it, you can see that we get an error here. Now, let's ask Klein to test the site and fix the issues that it sees. Okay, it's doing that now. 
you'll see in a bit how it opens up a mini browser inside its chat interface itself and uses the cursor and keyboard to navigate through it. Let's wait a bit. Okay, it's now done. So, it did this pretty fine. I don't have complaints about this. The major thing that I like about this is that it just uses its built-in Chromium browser instead of other stuff, which doesn't interfere with the general usage of your computer or browser as well. So, that's super cool. It's not limited to that either, because you can also use it for general web tasks as well. So, for example, you can ask it for something like, what's the NVIDIA stock price? Now, let's wait a bit. Okay, so as you can see, we got the information here, which looks pretty good and correct. This is great to see, because this makes testing stuff a little less of a hassle. But I won't be using it as of now, because it doesn't make sense to use it for bigger applications. And you can't generally use it for mobile apps either, which is a thing. But it's super cool to at least have the feature rather than not have it. I think Klein and Ader just keep upgrading themselves in more ways than the other and keep just getting amazing. I still want to toggle in Klein to make it much more like Ader, where it doesn't do agentic stuff and just edits files, because that would make it so much better for regular usage. I hope that's added soon. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.